in this video we are going to see how to create a custom component uh, and uh, how to add a pattern to it uh, basically in pcb we will have uh, any pcb tool like dip trace we have many other pcb tool we will have the common libraries for many components like resistor um, and um, i'll show you that so resistors diodes and uh, the components you can see here it shows discrete smd where by default we have these libraries provided by the tool itself here so we can see there are no patterns here and for this we have patterns and here in discrete we have some patterns all these things here so these are the libraries already available in, in case we don't have a library and uh, we need a uh, to create a custom component so this becomes our component and then the uh, attached pattern is uh, this so you can see the attached pattern here so this becomes a component and the attached pattern so how to create this so assume you have a new ic or you have a board or like an ordinal board or a new board which is coming and you want to create uh, you have to place that board on a uh, pcb base pcb so how to create uh, those components that's what we are going to see in this video so basically uh, we need the uh, ic or like a new ic we will need the dimensions for that or the board which we are going to design will need the dimension for that for example uh, here you can see in uh, tm4c123gh6 pm data sheet uh, at the last uh, some mechanical data information are available you can see in any uh, components data sheet you'll have this um so the technical manuals where uh, we can see uh, the uh, mechanical information which talks about the uh, type of packages and then uh, you can see uh, this is a quad flat package where we have uh, the uh, dot here which says number one pin number one then 48 and here uh, the uh, pitch size will be mentioned that is uh, between two um, uh, leads here we have a uh, 0.5 um, so you can have this units in mils inches um, and mm so what happens now was uh, like uh, you can see what is the size the total size of this IC uh, and pin to pin what is the size all those things mentioned and you can see the distance between the uh, leg and the IC all those things have been specified here so we will have this these information and using these information you can see it will be mentioned here what is uh, the all linear dimension are in millimeters here so mm so basically when this these values are given it's like 0.5 mm and uh, some uh, you can see here 0.25 mm like that so you will have those information specified here uh, so with that you can create a component and uh, now uh, we will try to create a simple component then you'll be able to understand how it works now let's click on the component editor and uh, now what we will do is uh, click on new and uh, we'll make like something like my ic and new uh, library group and then click ok now what we are going to do is um, we will create a simple IC that's uh, like pick something like pick microchip pick or something like that then U so basically this U is like if you have resistor R uh, when you place the resistor in the uh, schematic capture you will have R1, R2, R3 maybe I will show you in discrete you select C this becomes c1 c2 c3 something like that so for ic's this should be u1 so we keep it as u and then um, uh, what we'll have to do is you have an option here called uh, free so if it is locked you can just click it will get unlocked and you can see here we have an option called ic two sides in uh, here uh, it says the width uh, 0.9 like that you want to see that in a different unit again you can click on unit and make it mm or uh, you can see now it shows an mm inch like that so 
uh, the more point here is it uh, shows the height and width of uh, the IC here and the number of pins for example you make it four here you can see on the left side you have only four pins on the right side you have eight pins like that so you can adjust accordingly so for a uh, normal IC like microcontroller ICs or a triple five or something like that we'll have an equal set of IRIs or dual inline packages so we will have um, uh, equal number of pins so let it be like that now what is next is pin manager you can see pin manager here and pin manager uh, you can um, label these pins like um, this is VCC or VDD something like that and then show name now eighth pin is like ground then again show name now you can see the pins have been labeled here you can uh, also label it so it will be very clear like which pin you are connecting it to so basically for, uh, in triple five uh, i says we'll have these kind of uh, labeling when you use in schematic uh, capture so it's good to label so that when you make connections it will be easy for you in the schematic capture so once this is done uh, you can save before that i'll show you if you want to create if you don't want to use this ic all those things only this gives you four-sided ic or two-sided ic this two-sided co four sided becomes a quad flat package something like that you want to create custom you um, ic see you have the outline here and then now you have this something like this pins where you can place the pins like this and then you can start labeling it or you can adjust this outline and you can start labeling it and you can create your component you can see you have uh, something like this if you want a component like this you can do it so this is up to you then uh, now what i'm going to do is save it I'm going to save something like my IC dot ELI so it saves in ELI format you can see here then save it so I think already there is a file my IC so I'll keep it my IC one so save it next is um, you will need to get into pattern editor where we will be creating a pattern for this component here already I have this maybe I'll create it again uh, so what I'm going to do is click on new again my IC then okay again same pick U and then this U comes up in the PCB layout window now what you will have to do here is if you have a 3d model you can attach the 3d models there uh, if you don't have you don't uh, need to so you can create your 3d models also now again you have unlocked it here you can see circle line something like this so square something like this so you go to lines then you have uh, pad spacing so the spacing between the two pads it's set to be 2.54 it's like it's like a common um, uh, if you place or uh, ic's on breadboard we'll have this pitch that is 2.54 in uh, m uh, so then it says what is the distance between these two ic's like that so 7.62 this has to be decided based on the data sheet so you can see the distance here it has been mentioned properly so you'll have to decide according to the dimensions mechanical information so I'm just uh, now uh, creating it with the basic uh, whatever is available here the dimension so number of lines will be two lines and number of pads eight now if you have to go for the exact um, design like uh, what was available there now we will create a square or 
line some wait all rectangle something like this here it says horizontal pads you can remove this say zero and now make this as eight eight something like this uh, now uh, you will have to um, you can just go to standard uh, pad, uh, pad properties where you can select all the pads also like this completely and then right click and get into the pad properties and dimensions again standard pad properties and change the pad properties like whether you want the surface to be surface uh, uh, sorry uh, the throughful component or SMD component uh, something like this see now it becomes uh, like a surface mount device all pads have changed so you can make it like again through hole and um, you can uh, give the pad information like what is the diameter whether it is round you can choose oval ellipse all those things from here so now um, um, you can um, give the measurement of the width and height of the pad all those things can be given here completely then um, click on ok and you can draw an outline something like this now what what is next is uh, let's uh, assume like we have created an um, IC um, uh, pattern so before that uh, similarly which i showed you in component editor we have we have similar option here we can create our custom uh, ic's here we have this square rectangle something like this circle all those things uh, available you can create your custom patterns also like uh, um, the component editor you can ha have the custom number of pads designs all those things here next what is next is um, now let's save it so save it in the same place let me check if i'm going with the same path okay now we have my ic2 this is in dot lib form format so you can just save and uh, what is next is again go back to component editor click on pattern now in under pattern you have new library group you can select on my ic and pick when you select this you will uh, have the pattern which has been created here that will get linked with the uh, pins so you can see pin number one and pin number two has got linked here again you can see if something got wrong you can actually fix it here and then you can click on ok finally you will have to save the component editor again once this is done you can go back to schematic and uh, uh, click on library setup there's like right click here and click on library setup new group here ic and um, click ok now you can see the component is available here so now you can understand why that u was kept u1 u2 u3 and you have the labels you can see the corresponding pattern attached pattern which is here so this is how you create a component using the component editor and the pattern editor and uh, uh, you can create anything like uh, any even an Arduino board or ESP board which has to be placed on a, another PCB like that not only ICs no, or a discrete component or something like that you you need the mechanical information for that and um, once it is there you can create your components and bring it here so you don't need library specific library components available here in the tool itself so <laughs> I believe you have understood uh, how to make things here. So uh, we will meet in another video. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot.